So I had a bit of a hard time thinking about what story would be interesting to share. But what's been true in my life over the last two months is that I've been doing a lot of caretaking for my son, who is 15 years old. He had a major surgery that we weren't expecting, and he has two more to go. And um, it's been a really interesting journey between the two of us, learning how to renegotiate what it is to be mother and son in a time when he in some ways has been brought right back to being an infant again. Um, so not sleeping very well, needing intensive um, support to do things like eating, going to the bathroom, taking a shower, um, and doing that with a 15 year old son. Um, so it's been awkward at times and also really draining and exhausting and also really fun and connective together. Um, I've just been really proud of him and watching him navigate some really incredible challenges. He hasn't been able to go to school during this time. He's been through acute pain and through all of it, um, he just keeps trying to have a really good attitude, which has been really helpful. Um, we've certainly had moments where we've fought when he's frustrated. I'm a single mom. So when he's frustrated, I get that. When he's happy, I get that too. Um, but yeah, going back to learning how to schedule in support for him. When I had to go back to work, I had to get essentially babysitters to come and watch him so I could go back to the office. Um, it's been interesting. And I, I think the biggest lesson I learned over the last few weeks has been um, that humor is important, <laughs> uh, that self-care is incredibly important too. But also remember that I've been here before because I think I was really having a hard time until I remembered that I've actually lived through this phase in his life once before um, and I can do it again. So um, remembering that I had do so many, done so many of the things that I'm doing now helped me to um, remember that it's temporary and remember that actually I do have the skills to meet this moment, even though I'm not used to it anymore. I'm not used to that level of intensive support um, for my child. Um, I can do it and we're getting through it and, um, and he's healing, which is really exciting. So that's my story.